I'm Eamon Lenehan, welcome to Sunday's Jazz Alley. I hope you'll appreciate the irony of playing Brazilian strains on a wet bank holiday weekend. In 1962, Stan Getz cut an album with Charlie Bird. It led to a bossa nova craze in the Western world. By Getz's own admission, a relatively brief flirtation put his son through college. That's Getz performing So Dance a Samba at Carnegie Hall in 1964. Tonight we intend showing other aspects of his career, not so lucrative, but more aesthetically rewarding. Getz was 16 years of age when he made his recording debut with Jack Teagarden in the 1940s. The young sax player worked in the big bands of Stan Kenton, Jimmy Dorsey, Benny Goodman and Woody Herman. Four Brothers recording sax solos by Zoot Sims, Serge Shaloff, Herbie Stewart and Stan Getz. Getz also featured on a ballad early autumn, but by the time that Herman recording was issued, Getz had already left to lead his own units. Between 1951 and 1953, Stan Getz cut seven roost sessions, utilising the best rhythm sections around. Joining Stan on On the Alamo, Roy Haynes drums, Tommy Potter bass and Al Haig piano. Oh, <laughs> 
piano on the track we're about to play said you had to make allowances for Stan being born a Gemini Gets featuring Jimmy Rainey on guitar, Potter's Luck. Stan didn't restrict his efforts to band leading during the 1950s. Here he guests with the Count Basie Orchestra for a live date at Birdland. This time we're going to change the pace a little bit and I'm bring to the bandstand one of Birdland's top favorites. You've been waiting for this gentleman, one of the foremost tenor men of all times. How about a great big round of applause for the one and only Stan Getz! <laughs> Thank you. 
Little Pony, Stan Getz with the Count Basie Orchestra in December 1954. Basie, a one-time employer of Lester Young, must have appreciated those elegant floating lines. Getz was a melodic and inventive improviser with a peerless tone, and he stayed lyrical even at breakneck tempos. <laughs> Thank you. 
Stan Getz with Dizzy Gillespie, Oscar Peterson, Herb Ellis, Ray Brown and Max Roach. It don't mean a thing. The playing of Getz was championed by Norman Grants and the saxophonist appeared with jazz at the fill during the 1957-58 period. Here's Getz now with Peterson, Ellis, Brown again and also Connie Kay and J.J. Johnson. Ha 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 ha! 
Gets and J.J. Johnson wowing a crowd at the Shrine Auditorium, L.A. My Funny Valentine, the tune, of course. Stan Getz was a heroin addict and his drug dependency hastened spells of self-imposed exile. Getz was based in Europe from 1958. 1961, he returned to the States and recorded his comeback album, probably the greatest session of his career, Focus. <laughs> Thank you. 
Focus, Stan Getz with strings, a string album like no other. Eddie Soter wrote the arrangements. Difficult and stimulating, said Getz, and the saxophonist improvised most of his parts live in the studio. I'm late, I'm late, implies the urgency of the mad hatter desperate to get to the tea party on time. <laughs>
Sunday's Jazz Alley on RT Lyric FM, remembering one of the great tenor sax players who died 16 years ago this week, Stan Getz. Getz. The band leader helped kickstart the careers of Steve Swallow, Tony Williams, Chick Corea, and Gary Burton, and that was uh, Getz' Little Girl Blue, with Burton featured. Sweet Rain, music by Mike Gibbs, interpreted by Stan Getz. He played bass and then bassoon before switching to alto saxophone in his teens, and while his mother was out visiting relations, Stan persuaded his father to let him go on the road with Jack Teagarden. To keep the truancy board off his back, Teagarden signed as Stan's guardian. No more schooling, but an education, nevertheless. He taught me a lot, Getz said of Teagarden, especially about bending my elbow. Getz would also chain smoke and become hooked on heroin. It can be difficult linking that man with the demons to the musician who played ballads so magnificently.
Majestic planning and execution, the Peacocks. Stan Getz with the pianist who wrote the melody, Jimmy Rolls. The pair first met three decades previously in Woody Herman's orchestra. Despite uh, falling prey to serious illness, Stan Getz played saxophone. with Stan Getz, Hank Jones, Charlie Hayden and Mark Johnson up jumped spring. Recording made months before Getz died from terminal cancer in 1991. Next week's programme celebrates another sax player, Londoner Tubby Hayes. All the best for myself, Eamon Lenehan. Until then, in a moment on RTE Lyric FM, Nova, presented by Bernard Clark. Goes up, jump, spring time, so Thank <laughs> you.